Okay, so anybody who's ever watched any of my videos knows that I absolutely love Chromebooks. Oh wait, that's not right. The garbage can's over here. Yeah, I, I just love Chromebooks. They're just so wonderfully reliable and functional. I mean, these things are just great. I, I love them so much, and I've made so many videos just saying how awesome these things are. No, in reality, I think these things are crap. They're just 100% pure junk. But whenever I make a video about them, I have exactly zero people commenting and saying that I should be less hard on the Chromebook since you can always emulate various different older computers on a Chromebook. And yeah, you technically could. You can install Linux around all kinds of emulators. The Chromebook I have here is technically property of the Waterloo Region District School Board, and it's on loan to me. So, and they've disabled that, so I can't install Linux. So of course, me being me, when I'm bored at school and I want to just try out like a basic program or something that I came up with, I've had to look up all kinds of different like web-based emulators, and there's actually quite a few, like running your browser and they're like a website, and they like to emulate various different older machines. So today's video, I'd like to show you some of those that I've discovered. So uh, let's get right into it. First system we're going to be looking at is the Commodore 64 and virtualconsoles.com has an amazing Commodore 64 emulator. It allows us to upload D64 images and run them as well as there's several other things like a little pop-up keyboard which has all the keys as well as shortcuts as well, like joysticks as well as at the top it has like a full screen option. We want sound on as well as we can have save and restore states. So all around, this is a great little online emulator. It's definitely not quite as good as Vice, but what do you expect? It's running in a browser. I should also mention that Virtual Consoles has more than just a Commodore 64 emulator. It has emulators for all kinds of older machines. So moving on to the Apple One. The emulator I found was Apple One JS. As you can see by the little red bar, it's loading basic. And there's various different tapes we can mount and load. We got a little virtual keyboard here we can click on. Here we are in basic, we've got a little basic program. In the options menu down here, we've got some stuff about like CPU speed as well as some monochrome monitor simulation settings. So overall, this is a pretty cool little emulator to mess around with. Moving on a bit later in Apple's history, we're gonna move on to the Apple II. And for that, we've got Apple II JS, which is very similar to Apple I JS. It has some different settings. It mainly just emulates original twos and two pluses. Also got some font settings and whatnot. Got the same virtual keyboard and some disk images we can mount. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I love all the different options and stuff for the different fonts, models. And uh, yeah, but I think it's by the same people who made the Apple One emulator. So uh, yeah, pretty uh, nice, well-rounded little emulator. Really like it. And uh, moving on. And for those of you who are into old school Macs. PCEJS has got you covered. It's actually got several other systems we can emulate here, but the uh, early Mac one is probably my favorite. And it shows the picture inside like this little vector graphic, I think, of a uh, early Mac, but I find that just a little bit annoying and I wish there was like a option to make it larger on your screen. But anyway, beggars can't be choosers. Next up for the Tandy side of things, we got JS Mocha, which is a pretty slick uh, Tandy color computer emulator. It's got a ton of different uh, tape, disc, and cartridge images we can mount, which is really cool. And it has lots of like joystick emulation options, which allow you to uh, map your joystick to different keys on your keyboard, as well as has some snapshot options and whatnot, and you can load your own disc and cartridge images. So yeah, super awesome little emulator. Definitely really like this one. Well, the first online emulators actually messed around with. 
And for the Tandy Color Computer's bigger brother, the uh, TRS-80 Model 3, we've got TRS-JS48K.ca. And uh, yeah, it's a TRS-80 Model 3 emulator in your browser. Not too much to say here. And there are a couple little programs you can load here in the games. And my favorite is this one, which is just a uh, Space Invaders clone type game, but it was written entirely in basic. So uh, yeah, pretty neat. So uh, yeah, anyway, that concludes today's video on like in-browser emulators. I really only scratched the surface. These are just some of my favorites for some of my favorite systems. And uh, yeah, I encourage you to go check some of these out because they're pretty neat. And there's only one question that remains. Does the ability to run all these emulators on in your browser on a Chromebook, does that make the Chromebook less of a piece of crap? No, it does. Emulators are still emulators. They're not as good as the real hardware. And these emulators are not nearly as versatile as the emulators you can install on Windows or Linux. But they're cool and I'm definitely glad they exist. So anyway, the links for all of these will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.